Hey YouTube, so this is going to be a page to go with the page I done my last video. So it serves a couple of purposes actually. It's going to be the page to go with that page and use some of the leftovers from that. It's also going to be an entry for video response, I suppose, uh, to Gina, Gina Beth one here on YouTube. Um, and her challenge for this one, I'm going to do her card challenge as well later, but the challenge for this was to use a stamp that said best day ever. I looked, I have, I thought for sure that one of my roller date stamps like this would have that same on, statement on it. Now I only have four roller date stamps. I know that's not a lot for most people, but for me, that's a lot, but none of them do. So I don't have anything that I can find at least right now that says best day ever. So what I'm going to do is use this giant pebbles roller stamp thing giant do you see that like that's the size of my hand this is a size a bottle of mist like to compare it's huge man um <laughs> to that and i'm gonna use it um i'm gonna make it say best day ever actually my layout's gonna be not the best day ever it's gonna kind of be a subtitle for my layout and i think it'll be a lot of fun so um I'm using scraps from the last layout and basically these are them. I did grab these simple story snap letters uh, to use probably as part of my title or I might use the same thickers I had out last time. Again, there's a purple, there's a turquoise blue, and there's some wilder colors. I do have three 4x6, but actually those 4x6 some of those are actually two by two here. And then I have these. So, um, oops, like that. Yeah, there you go. Um, that are three by four. So that's it. And I have my washi tape out and my mists that I had last time. So uh, from here on out, I'll speed up the video and you can watch me scrap and I'll kind of um, narrate as I do that. So I'm gonna try to go with some of the same ideas that I used on the other one and we'll see how it goes. Enjoy! So the first thing I'm going to do is show you that I'm using the Worn Lipstick Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. Same ink that I used on the last layout and my Glitz Roller Stamp. Now here you'll notice that I'm kind of starting that stamp a little bit up from the bottom and I'm kind of doing it so it has what I would call an ombre effect, I suppose. Uh, from the bottom up, you know, where the bottom is a little darker and it gets lighter up towards the top. Um, I figured out here that I wanted it to go off of the side edge and grabbed a piece of paper to keep that ink all the way off my desk and then realized I want it to go up the bottom as well. So I did roll this stamp wrong up that side, but you don't really notice it on the final layout. Actually, you don't notice a lot to do with the stamping when I get finished. So, And so here I'm kind of inking up to try to get lighter ink up at the top so uh, that was an interesting thing to try to do but it worked out fairly well that's kind of the look that I was going for now that Heidi Swap color shine I'm just uh, putting a bit of that on a little bit of white Mr. Huey's kind of sprinkled across as well and I do have this video sped up to four times speed so I don't scrap anywhere near that quickly uh, that's the tinsel in Heidi Swap and again I'm holding it upside down sorry about that um, just to show you, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that, but I have trouble shaking it, which I guess you can't see, but I do. And uh, sorry that you can see my trash can in the shot there a little bit. I was trying to get most of the page in the shot and think that I got my trash can too. So. And I move the page around a lot when I scrap, so that's kind of uh, difficult for me to keep the page in shot, I guess, all the time. I think I do a little better job here. No, I guess not. Um, here I'm trying to figure out the layout of my photos and I spend a long time kind of messing with this and then trimming and doing random things. So um, the other thing that I'm going to do, I'll tell you, I'm going to try a different camera uh, for my next layout. For these, I use a Sony bloggy camera, uh, which I love. It's even pink and it's a really adorable, cute little camera. I think I'm going to try the real, our real uh, digital video cam camcorder um, and see if it does a little better, especially at the 
being able to tell where my shot is. I can see it on my blogging when I look up on my tripod thing, um, but I have trouble still keeping things in shot. So I think that that camera, my other camera might have a little bit wider focus. Again, I'm just kind of log. I cut all the pictures apart, and I'm just figuring out how I'm going to line them all up. And that does end up being approximately what I do. Uh, I am going to trim a few of those little ones to up the side down. Uh, because I have four pictures of my daughter, uh, well, actually five, four uh, two by two pictures. Uh, I had a full four by six of her, uh, which I actually cut down into about, about a three by four. And then I had four of my husband, four of the little two by twos, and then two of my son in three by four. So, um, it, I don't mind that I have a few more of my daughter in this particular page. She had a much better time um, at the event than the other two did. So it's fine that there's more pictures of her. Uh, this is kind of a funny story. We went go-karting. Uh, my We actually drove like several a couple hours away from our town and to go go-karting. Um, I thought I left a little bit here of space on the mat thinking that I was going to use it for my title. And I leave that actually for quite a long time uh, in the layout. Actually, I have to pull most of the layout up to change that in a little bit here. I blew everything down and yeah, and it doesn't work. So uh, here I'm just grabbing some of the paper that I used the last time, cutting it into like small chunks and pieces um, and putting it down. Now you see what I mean by you don't see much of that background stamping, really almost none of it at all. I did add a little bit more up in that upper right hand corner just because I wanted something up there. I didn't want it to be completely blank. Here I'm getting out those uh, Simple Stories snap letters. It's a really cool package. It has about six or seven, maybe eight, I don't know, different colors of uh, letter stickers in it. And then there's some little word phrase stamps. And I thought, hey, maybe that has best day ever, but it didn't. It did have one I really, really wanted to use, uh, but I couldn't figure out how it could enjoy the ride. But it was a green color, which just doesn't go through. So we have it all stuck down. I'm getting out that pebble stamp, and this is the part. Oh gosh, I hope I move up my layout so you can see this. Uh, where I just do a terrible job, and this is going to take me a little bit here to get everything rolled into place. And I guess I should have taken even longer. Maybe that's what I did incorrectly. I don't know. Maybe I was trying to hurry more because I was doing it on a video. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to stamp in black sort of to the bottom right of where the photos are. And I get it all inked and I stamp it very carefully. And the first two words, which I did this day, look, look fine. They look perfectly acceptable. I mean, they're not lined up perfectly, but it looks like a fun stamp and it's fine. Uh, then I stamped the word ever and somehow got extra words off to the side, which looks terrible. I'm like, that's okay. I'll figure out how to cover those up. Um, and it just looks horrible. I did get the whole thing stamped and it looks terrible. Um, so what I did was grab those simple story letters and just figured out how to cover up all of my dreadful, dreadful stamping um, with those. And you can, I don't even think tell now. Excuse me for the yawning, but there was even ever stamping there. So that's a very good thing for me. It makes me very, very happy. Um, and it actually looks really cute. Those letters are the perfect match to that paper that I've matted the photos with. Um, and it works really well. So I do end up moving them around a little bit a couple times just to make sure that I cover up all of the um, stamping mess that I made. I get out those stickers, I thought I was going to use them, and then I decide not to. Then I decide I'm going to put the title across the top of all the photos, and then I'm going to change that as well. I decide what I really want to do is, um, there I pull it up, I decide what I really want to do because I'm calling, uh, the title of my layout is uh, Pokey the Fat Man and Chicken. And... Hey. <laughs> um, 
And I did use a little sticker that said she said because as we were leaving I made the joke that I was I, I went to a go kart place with Pokey the Fat Man and Chicken. Uh, my daughter's Pokey. She drove the go kart, went her whole time, had a had fun actually, but drove like a grandmother, like super ridiculously slow. My husband went and drove the whole time and came out absolutely miserable because he said he was too big for the cart. Now, why he didn't stop, I have no idea. It was hilarious. Um, and my son got just as far as you see him there in the he's a little guy in the helmet on the left, on the right side of the picture. Uh, and the one just to the left of him facing the helmet sitting in the go cart. That is as far as he got. I'm not even sure his bottom hit the seat all the way before he chickened out. So I'll get all the letters down, and that's the end. Watch for pictures. Have a great day. There it is. Um, that's the finished layout. You can kind of see I added some journaling after the fact. There's the where I did the stickers over the stamping. And lastly, there's a little bit of the title. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.